very good morning students welcome back to iot and wsn subject uh, today we will see another important concept of module 1 that is data enrichment data consolidation and device management at gateway gateway is the one device which is used between our iot device and the internet it's a it's a it's a interface we can say it's a intermediate between or it's a device which will communicate our device with the network or internet so it's a very important things and it is designed at data adaptation layer here here you are seeing uh, here we design the gateway which will interface the device with the internet so this is very 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 important device in the iot module now let's see the functions of gateway at data adaptation layer so as we know the main two functions that is data enrichment and data consolidation first function of the gateway the second one is device management second function important major function okay so here in this data enrichment and data consolidation it does the data privacy data security data enrichment data consolidation transformation and device management all together all together actually we are having the heading called data enrichment and data consolidation and device management but again if you go detail we'll do all these things in the gateway so data privacy data security data enrichment data consolidation transformation and device management so this is the uh, a diagram which is related to the adaptation layer how the gateway will uh, you know interface your device with the internet device see all these devices are which will generate very small bytes of data tens of bytes if you consider the internet internet is thousands of bytes so all together these device has to be come to this particular gateway and gateway will does all those things so after doing some processing it will send it to the internet so that functions we call it as data enrichment data consolidation and device management let's see how the things will happen in this gateway uh, the main thing is data management and consolidation so data management and consolidation which include transcoding privacy security integration compaction and fusion so data management consolidation all together so we call it as transcoding it does the transcoding privacy security integration and compaction and fusion so what do you mean by this uh, uh, transcode so transcoding transcoding is nothing but it means data adaptation conversion and a change of protocol format or code using software see transcoding is nothing but everything it does in the sense transcoding is nothing but data adaptation it will adapt it on its own then converting data from one format to the another format then change of protocol change of protocol if you make it ipv4 to ipv6 or ipv6 to ipv4 everything is done here only format it gets changed the format then code using software for example at the device level we are using ascii data then when it comes to this server it uses the unicode and how it does so when ascii code come to the you know you know gateway or uh, in the gateway it will does it convert ascii to unicode and send it to the server so this is very very important function of the gateway so transcoding is very 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 important then privacy security so it has to be you know uh, make uh, you know secure very very important thing is access to data needs to be secure if you want if you are accessing the data that has to be need to be secure so that is very very important so here uh, it does devices and application identity then privacy model it, it does devices and applications identity that is management authentication authorization trust and reputation very 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 important for the privacy model 
authentication and authorization if you are using any iot model or iot you know the protocol you have to be authenticated someone has to authenticate you so whether you are legal user or you know correct rude user authorization should be there for the authorization and authentication you need to have some security code if you know that particular security code then only you move into the particular iot otherwise you cannot access the data that's why we say it's a privacy and security now after this yes very very important thing is data gathering and data enrichment so data gathering is nothing but very very important data gathering is nothing but just recall when you studying the conceptual framework second conceptual framework that is for enterprises and processes we have the six levels starting from data gathering enrichment you already studied then how what is data gathering so there are four modes of data gathering that is polling event based gathering scheduled interval continuous monitoring polling is nothing but data sought from devices by addressing so from the different data it comes to that particular polling one by one after the other then event based data has to be sent by an event after triggering the event then only data has to be sent from the device then scheduled interval scheduled interval is nothing but data sought from device at select interval at regular instant of time so it will give some time in that particular time only it has to be sent the data then continuous monitoring so data sought from device continuously so these all three four modes belongs to the data gathering then data enrichment so data enrichment is nothing but it refers to adding value security and usability of the data if you add these things value security and usability to the data then we call it as a enrichment data enrichment it has to be enhanced so there are three steps for data enrichment the first one is aggregation then compaction then fusion so aggregation is nothing but it's a process of joining together present and previous received data frames after removing redundant and duplicate data this is called aggregation then compaction making information short without changing the meaning or context compaction just like zip you are doing zip in the sense so you are just reducing the size not the content that is the example for compaction then fusion formatting the information received in parts it has to be fused all these three steps will make the data enrichment this is very very important okay again it's uh, asked in the uh, question paper explain data gathering and data enrichment done by the gateway okay so you have to mention all these functions then second important the function of the gateway is device management okay as i told data gathering and consolidation it's a first you know function the second function is data management so data management is done by the gateway so how sorry device management is done by the gateway so what is device management so device management we call it as a dm so device management means provisioning for the device id so you have to give unique id addresses which is called address which is distinct from other resources it should be specific so that's why the ipv4 is now not sufficient so that's why we are using ipv6 because more addresses can be generated using ipv6 compared to the ipv4 so which has to be which has to be given to the each object each device which are connected to the iot so that's why it has to manage it has to manage the device for that it needs to generate and allocate that particular id it should be unique it should be specific okay so then device activating configuring the device registering device deregistering device attaching device detaching device see registering and deregistering without register you cannot access data in that particular iot after registration only you are able to access data in that particular iot attachment and detachment once you at you know register then you can use it at any time just you know if you move to that particular area 
yes you are attached to that particular network when you coming out from that particular area you you call it as a detached from that particular area so before that you have to register without registration you are not allowed to access any data so this is all together we say it's a device management then dm device management also means accepting subscription for its resources okay so suppose you want to access any resource then you need to make the you know device management it has to be registered then only you are able to access that particular resource as well as data and for this one important thing we call it as open mobile alliance oma open mobile alliance device management and several standards are used for device management okay so for that also iot is generating one oma dm model that is called open mobile alliance model which is a standard used for device management what kind of devices you are going to attach it gives everything what type of protocol it is it has to be used how the device has to be configured how it has to be activated how how how, how the device has to be registered all they, it gives the some certain rules that that is done by the oma dm that is open mobile alliance it's a standard used for device management now functions gateway functions for device management how gateway will does some functions or implicate or implement some function for device management that is it does forwarding function when dm server and device can interact without reformatting and structuring see this is very very important on its own the device management if does the forwarding functions immediately when when they are going to interact when server is going to interact with the device on its own it has to be forward that is done by the you know gateway the second one is it does the protocol conversation when the device and dm server device management server use distinct protocols on its own it has to be developed the protocol and it has to be followed no one is there automatically automatically it has to be you know execute that particular protocol for the conversion of the data then third one is it does the proxy function in case an intermediate prefetch is required in a lossy environment see if something is lost in the communication process so it has to be done proxy function so it has on its own it has to develop that particular you know the lost the information and get it to the device as well as device management server so as i as i as i said earlier the gateway is the intermediate device which is going to be there between the iot smart device with the iot server it's a it's a it's a you know you can say it's a mediator between the device and server and through it through it only the communication will takes place very 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 important so uh, this is very very important and uh, this is one function is one you know question is fixed on this gateway anything they ask gateway whether it is data data enrichment or data you know management or data consolidation or device management anything they ask but one question is fixed on the gateway you just you know see the question paper you come to know one question is asked so this is only for this class next class we'll see the communication protocol that we call it as a web communication protocol thank you